right. of the University of Kansas, Svi Mikhailu has signed a one-year deal with the Boston Celtics. And honestly, this is a pretty good deal. This is a team that, you know, the two things they needed is front court help and three-point shooting. Three-point shooting is being helped now by the addition of Svi Mikhailu. You guys know him, the Ukrainian sniper himself. And I do think that this is a good deal for the Boston Celtics. I was actually texting a guy who works for the Boston Celtics this morning. We were talking about the James Harden, Damian Lillard trade, and a bunch of other news that, you know, I was just trying to get, a, 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 you know, a, an, another perspective. And it's so funny that I texted him two hours before about, you know, just about why aren't teams making any signings? And then there, his team goes ahead and hires or signs Steve Mikhailu. And the funny thing is, is this guy, he's a stats guy. So he probably, well, he's like a scout. So like, I don't know if how much of a hand or decision-making process he had in that, but let's talk about Steve Mikhailu. I think him and Sam Hauser are gonna fight for minutes. And Speed's a guy who's been around the league. He's he's a big boy, okay? Speed Mikhailu last year, for the Charlotte Hornets, averaged 10.6 points in about 22 minutes a night. And really that run he had with the Charlotte Hornets might have saved his career. Not that he's a bad player, it's just that the fact that he, you know, wasn't having a good run and then he goes to the Hornets and he has a great run. So Svee McKay is a six foot seven wing. He could play shooting guard. And the problem is he's six foot seven, but he has, I believe, a six foot four wingspan. Yeah, he's got T-Rex arms in terms of when it comes to his wingspan. And the thing is, though, he's got one of the smoothest three point shots in the league. So hit that like and subscribe button. We're about a thousand, about a thousand or two subscribers away from 20,000. So do that. And I think right there, when we look at how this guy can impact this team, I think it definitely is going to be very interesting to see what we're doing with Svi Mikhailu. I misspoke right there. We're a few thousand away. I said one or two thousand away from 20,000. No, we are like five or seven, nine or eight thousand away. But hey, we're closer than we are farther. And the thing with this, with this signing is, you know, I think it's definitely something that his career has been made basically on how good of a three-point shooter he is. He's not a good defender by any means, but he he makes a good effort. The thing is, he's strictly a one-dimensional player. And I don't mean that rudely. Like, it's just, let's be honest. He's not a guy that you're gonna go out and be like, oh, he's locked down, okay? You're lying. You're lying to yourself. So I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think and why? But that's basically gonna be it for me. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a go. Like, comment, and subscribe. If there was anything else you guys would have wanted to hear, let me know. But thank you for that. And yeah, I think I'm good right now. I feel good, okay? I feel good. And I wonder what's gonna happen with Speed if he'll make the team or not, all right? So yeah, if I find out if the contract's guaranteed or not, I'll let you know. I did try to find out if it was a guarantee or a non-guaranteed deal. I asked my, the guy I know who works for the Boston Celtics. If I told you who this guy was, you would find him on Wikipedia, so I can't add him. And he responded, that's not supposed, something I'm supposed to say until it's public. So he wouldn't tell me if it's a guaranteed or a non-guaranteed deal.